thing, what I mean by that is, is that when you have your gatherings, it's communicating the fact that this gathering is a safe place for discussion. In fact, in our men's ministry at the local church I attend, we make it very clear at the end of the meeting, what we talk about in this room never leaves this room. Guys, we are not built to emotionally talk about the things that matter most. And it's because of just what Pastor Brian said, we don't trust. We've been burnt too many times. All of us have been burnt. I've been burnt. To where we become very selective. And it makes sense. You know, if you injure, if you injure your elbow on this hand, you're going to protect it. And you'll be careful with it because you know how bad it hurt when you injured it. And so in order to pr protect that, and sometimes emotionally we've been hurt, and so we protect it. So it has to be a safe place that it can be talked about. And it's building a safe place. And we went as far to say in our men's ministry that if you break your confidence, we're probably going to ask you not to come back. I know it sounds a little rough, but I, you know, for the good of the for the good of the group, you know, uh, have an agenda. Food is not the agenda, <laughs> and that's not mean we can't have food because obviously we have food this morning. By the way, there's still donuts over here. <laughs> but it's saying that a pancake breakfast is not men's ministries. Now you may have pancakes, great, but that's got to be more than that. Men are determining by analyzing the, the profit of what your gathering is to whether they will devote the time necessary to spend on it. That's our filter. Uh, uh, and I, I put a no-cut policy. I was reading and a, and a gentleman was a chaplain of a football team and uh, they were meeting and this young uh, rookie was on there growing in his walk with God. And uh, as unfortunately for him, he got cut from the team. And when he did, he walked up to the chaplain and he said, Chaplain, he said, I've gotten cut. I said, does that mean we still won't be friends anymore? The chaplain said, it doesn't mean anything about our friendship. He said, we're always friends. Friends is not about your performance on the football field. No cut means you keep getting guys engaged. Even when they can't make it, you still invite them. They'll come eventually. Be understanding when they can't make every gadget.